Now at 5.30, we continue to break down the $8.7 billion state budget approved by House lawmakers earlier this morning. Now, the plan cuts corporate and estate taxes, eliminates the Seconic Bridge toll, and covers the next bond payment for the state's failed investment in 38 studios. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi was there till the very end this morning when the vote finally came after midnight. He joins me now with more on the pros and cons for taxpayers. Anytime you're looking at this, Tim, there are winners and losers. The business uh, community, are they happy with the corporate tax cut? Quite happy. The Greater Providence Chamber of Commerce swung big support behind this. As you said, the corporate and estate tax cut, they've been asking for those things for years, and they got them here. Another winner, as you said, people who use the Sakonet River Bridge, that fight, there was real people power behind that push on the Sakonet River Bridge not to have tolls, and they finally succeeded by putting a lot of pressure on their reps. Also, health care and education get a lot more money in this budget, tens of million dollars more for local schools, and hundreds of millions more for Medicaid for low-income Rhode Islanders. All right, so those are the winners. How about the losers? You know, we're talking about cutting taxes, but the gas tax is going to go up. That's absolutely right, Mike. You know, the average taxpayer, this, they're going to feel some hit in here. I mean, Susan Campbell said it five correctly. You're going to pay more at the pump. The gas tax is now going to go off automatically every other year. Some of the vehicle fees will be going up. All that to offset having no tolls in the Sukonet River Bridge. There's also no change to the sales tax, no change to property taxes. Of course, lawmakers are saying that there will be a benefit for average taxpayers with what they spend the money on to fix the roads and things like that. Through all of this, this budget has really grown over the last several years. Yeah, we dug up some numbers on this, and I was even a little surprised, even though I cover this closely. Take a look. We've had the budget grow from $7.7 .7 billion just two years ago uh, in 2013 to $8.7 billion this year. This is the budget for, next, for 2015 that's about to start. A billion dollars in two years. That's A lot of that is on health care, uh, especially with the rollout of Obamacare and more people coming into that. But it's setting up a huge problem for the next governor because we're looking at growing large deficits coming in the next years, up to $400 million. And quickly, uh, for cities and towns, what does that mean? Not too much change so far, but you know, the head of the Rhode Island Association of School Committees, Tim Duffy, says Rhode Island is facing its own fiscal cliff, and he's worried that's going to come down in the cities and towns in the coming years. All right, Ted, thank you very much. And stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the state budget. Coming up at 6, we're digging deeper into the measures involving 38 studios. We're tracking the votes of former House Speaker, State Representative Gordon Fox, plus you can get more in-depth coverage online right now at WPRI.com.